What's going on, guys? Figured I'd go live about three minutes soon. So we're just going to sit here and talk for a minute. I'm just going to sit here and talk, see how it is, see what it's like. Get everybody in here, let everybody get in here, get some talking done, things like that. We'll just sit here for a minute. How's everybody's day been? Give me that, give me that hashtag one to 10 grind on everybody's day. My day has been roughly an eight. Got a lot of YouTube stuff done. A lot of scheduling done. A lot of content schedule. Things like that. Been getting it done. You know what I'm saying? An eight. That's fantastic, Benjamin. Anything above, anything above a five is pretty solid for me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying here, buddy boy? Yeah, let's go, Wyvern Bolt. What's up, Metal Demon? What's up, guys? We're, man, I'll, okay, let me just say this while there's nobody in here that can hear it. I sincerely apologize for restarting the Let's Play after two episodes. <laughs> been, wait, been waiting six and a half hours, Wyvern Bolt. I know, man, I've seen you in here. 100%, man. I appreciate you guys coming out to support the streams and stuff like that, man. It, it, mean, it means a ton to me. It means a ton to me. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. So, today, we're starting a new character, and we do have lore. We have juicy lore. I figured, I was like, man, you know, if I'm going to go back on my word, if I'm going to go back on my word and start a new character, right, then I'm going to make it worth their time. I'm going to make it worth their time. So, I've cooked up the most devious lore the best lore that I've ever seen, probably. No, I'm just kidding. There are people who are much more talented at that than me, and I've never really done it, besides with this character, honestly. Most of the lore is, it's just me in a video game. Brendan Williamson, it took me 37 years to get one hand to 100 today on base game. <laughs> oh, golly, man. That is a grind, Brendan. That is a grind. Yo, what's up, American Savage? I'm glad to see so many of you guys out here tonight on a Monday evening. Hope everybody had a good day. Decent day at work. Anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time we get into the game. We've been playing here. Hey, man, happy um, happy you chose to follow your heart and make a new character. Yeah, yeah, t uh, Tylen, I'll call you Tylen. Um, <clears throat> I just, man, I didn't even realize it until I started, but we had two Nords. And I was like, man, I'm not going to sit here with two Nords on the channel that pretty much have the same exact build. Can you make a high elf? Well, I've already got, I already know exactly what I'm going to make. Let's just say that, Wyvern. I already know exactly what we're making. Parakeet. Hi, uh, what's up? Uh, wasn't there a character already? Yeah, uh, there was. There was. Um, but we restarted because I had two Norths. Uh, everybody can kind of convince me, and I kind of convinced myself last time that we were going to go with our heart, end it where it started with a Nord. However, the problem with that is my character that I make videos with, not the guy that I stream on, is a Nord with the same exact build, so it's like playing the same guy in two different saves, which it kind of gets confusing, and it's kind of boring. You want to have some variety uh, when you're playing and stuff like that. Um, Benjamin Anderson. Hey, Senpai Jake. When you start, you should level up one-handed and put your first perk into stealth and get sneak to 100 and make an assassin. Good fun. That's a good idea, Benjamin. I'll tell you this. Character level 261? Was it on the Discord? What was on the Discord? Copy and paste characters? What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? My character is level 261, and I still don't have two-handed and archery up to 100. Golly, dude. What an, what an abhorrent grind. Oh, no. The lore, the lore is not on the Discord. I've not put the lore on the Discord. That would have been a good idea. What's up, Jaden Antonian? Glad to see you, man. We are going to get into the game, though, because I'm sure that's what you guys are actually wanting, not just to hear me ramble on about things for however long I could do that. Raid Guard Assassin, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Wasborn. For those of you who are in the last stream, heard me talk about it a lot. We're going to go on ahead and we're going to start a brand new game. Start a new game. This is the last time, I promise. Argonian one-handed, reading Argonian made only. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are crazy. You guys are loons, man. <laughs> you guys are wild. Got to get this character broken, right? You already know. Diet Coke. Where's the sponsorship at? Vampire Assassin. D.E. Mage. Oh, well, I'll keep, my, I'll keep my mouth shut for a little bit. But we're going to get to hear the iconic line. 
And I'll tell you this. I've actually messed up here. What happened with the last character? I've been out of the loop. Uh, and, and Manuel, I'll tell you this. If you want to stay in the loop, join the Discord in the description below. I should have a... I should have a link down there. If I don't, there's a link on the channel wall. There's a link in the past few videos and different things like that. Definitely feel free to join that Discord. Yo, what's up, Ash? Glad to see you guys. Glad to see a lot of guys coming back. Uh, glad to see a lot of you guys out here. But I'll tell you this. Um, the sad part is I can never, ever remember to put it back on my headphones. And it's not working. Fantastic. I'm so glad. Oh, man, it, it can't just go smooth. I'll tell you that right now. It can't just go smooth. So we'll do that. We go here. There's no headphones. Plug in. There's headphones. Okay, it's just not going to work. It's not going to work. Jenny, uh, are you active in Discord again? Last time I checked, it was dead. No, we've, we've, we've pumped up that Discord. There's like 50 people in there now. There's a ton of people in there. A lot of people talking. Uh, I'm not crazy active in there, but there's a lot of people who are doing builds and memes and stuff like that. It's crazy cool. Are there races you haven't gone with yet in Skyrim? Yes, there actually is. I've never done an Imperial. I've never done an Orc. Um, I've never done a... Hmm. Sad news. I checked... Janine, you saint. I understand. It's sad. Maybe, hey, maybe we're the first. Maybe we're the first. PTV, uh, make me. Uh, One-handed has got to be the best build if you grind for it. Hey, maybe that's part of what we do this time. Who knows? Sup? What's up, Tyler? What is up? I'll be lurking. Have a good stream. Hey, Ash. I appreciate you lurking, dog. Man, look at this beautiful game. Beautiful game. I should have. I should have checked my daggum headphones before I started streaming. That sucks. Yeah, my other character was final, Jaden, but we kind of, okay, I'll say this. This is the last time I'm going to say this. From here on out, if anybody comes in and asks, you guys help me. Okay. So I ended up making a Nord last time, which ended up being the same exact build that I had with my other Nord, Simpa or uh, JKL the Adequate, JKL the Great now because he glitched out, but JKL the Adequate. So it was the same exact build. It was going to get very repetitive very quickly. I was going to get burnt out quicker. So we decided last stream that I'm going to go on ahead and start a new character, but we're going to go with a different race and a different build than we've ever done before. Now I have noticed one thing, ladies and gentlemen. There are 23 of you in here, and there's only nine likes on the stream. What the heck, man? What the heck? Help me out with that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get let's get to let's get to a quick fifteen locks if we can. Yeah, hey TTV, I'm I'm glad you're here too, man. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh no, you're good. You're good, guys. You're good. You're good. Man, already up to twenty. Holy cow, you guys are crazy. Yeah, Wyvern Bolt's been doing the Lord's work. All right, here we go. Last character, guys, for real this time. By the way, <laughs> for real this time. All right. Always like, yeah, there's a few of you guys. There's a few of you guys that lock every time before the stream even starts. The new lock goal is 25 locks. The new lock goal is 25. Man, we actually killed him in the last stream. Crazy spoiler alert if you want to go watch that VOD or wait till Saturday for the new video to come out. That'll be pretty lit. Hopefully, we're going to have a whole bunch of content coming out here lately or here for the next while, for the next uh, ever, anyway. Maybe he'll get away this time, guys. Who knows? Spoiler alert. He won't. <laughs> this is the best Skyrim has ever sounded. Really? Yeah, Ellie's here too. He never got away. And he never got away. <laughs> that ain't Ninja. What kind of play style are you going to go with? Ladies and gentlemen, after much deliberation, I have come up with some lore, and I'm going to explain the lore while I am creating the character. So, oh man, okay, I'm, I'm really excited about this character. So there were obviously 10, 
Wait, it's silent? No way! It did this again. Okay, we're gonna have to stop. Sorry, guys. We're gonna have to stop and fix this again. We have messed this up for the 18th time in a row. I'm so sick and tired of this. Is that working now? No, it's still not working. Okay, you guys guess what build. Guess what build we're going with in the chat while I try to fix this stupid computer. I'm going to get so mad here in a second. Okay. Speakers. Wait, there it goes. I think that's it. I think that's it. Is that it? Can you guys hear the music now? I think we can hear it. Can you guys hear the hear the next? I don't know. Okay, somebody needs to answer. Somebody answer, please. <laughs> Help me out here. Can you hear the game? You should be able to hear very low Skyrim. Skyrim kind of chill. Should we restart? You're not hearing the game? Okay. That's what we'll do. Okay. This is what we'll do. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and settle it. That tears it. Got okay, headphones. Let's see if this makes... Let's see if this fixes it. I think this is going to fix it. We should be good to go after this. Is that better? <laughs> oh no, it's better! Let's go! Senpai Jake, Tech Wiz. Hire me as an IT guy. Alright, so... The last character in Skyrim. Ladies and gentlemen. The last character in Skyrim. Here we go. I'm not gonna rob you guys of hearing, Hey you, finally awake! I'm not going to rob you guys of hearing that. So we're going to restart from the beginning. And I'm going to kind of start going ahead and explain some of the lore. Actually, I really can't until you guys know what race it is. And I don't want to give that away yet. You guys all have a lot of good guesses, though. Last and everlasting time. Yes. Forever and ever. Amen. Shielded battle mage. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. Let's go, man. Let's go. We're finally here. The lore. Yeah. What's good, Toby? Glad to see you, man. Yo, seems you were trying to cross the border. Same as us and that thief over there. <laughs> oh, and don't worry. The lore actually works into how we got captured, hey, by the way. You. How we I ended out wait. getting captured, which is kind of crazy. I never even thought of doing that. I don't know. Same, Same as, as us and that, and that thief over, over there. there. Supreme Cow with the quotes. Skyrim was fine until you came along. The Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and then oh, halfway to Sorry. Hammerfell. Sorry, lo sorry, Loki here. You and me. We shouldn't be here. We need Stormcloaks the Empire wants. Diet Coke, it'll never be a sponsorship. Been a huge fan of role played Skyrim lately. Really, Attic? What's wrong with him? What's your what's your best build? Watch your tongue. Heaven's the goat for lore. What's Heaven's name on YouTube? Is it the same? I don't think it is. Is it? You're the leader of the rebellion. They captured you. Ladies and gentlemen, the final character. Where are they taking us? I don't know. Are we wrongfully accused of a crime, or did we commit treason? No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, Horstick? Why do you care? I still imagine that the trees our hands reaching up should be of home. Ladies and gentlemen, two more locks to hit the goal of 25. I'm from Rorikstead. I'm from Rorikstead. And he's all the way up there and we can hear him talk that clearly. Okay. Akatosh Divines, please help me. <laughs> I know myself as much. Uh, more still. Oh, really long Let's Plays. I see, I see. Well, you're in the right place because this is going to be a Let's Play, hopefully having an episode on this character every single Wednesday until the end of time or until Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. So, running into the Imperials accidentally. 
Oh, okay, imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine this. We get to the point where we've 100%ed Skyrim and we only have Radiant quests left. And I'll still get on and make Radiant Quest videos. In, until the end of time. Exactly. Exactly. Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so I was arrested once. I was arrested too once. I was an adventurer like you once. Golly. Inside the house. Now. Yes, Papa. Go on, Hamming. I wonder if Hamming makes it. 25 locks. Let's go, guys. You already know what the next goal is, baby. 30 locks. What do you think? The end of the line. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of the line for our character. I'm tired of not... You did the math last time and you have at least 84 streams worth of content on it for a single character. That's if we do solid two hours of gameplay or three hours of gameplay every single stream. That's the only way we can get there. I'm curious how you liberated that McDonald's sign. <laughs> My McDonald's was uh, remodeling and it was laying in the grass and they uh, were going to throw it away. And I asked the manager, I said, yo, man, what if I just took it off your hands? That and the other one. And he said, okay. So I got two McDonald's signs. I kept the better one, sold the other one for $52 and some Dallas Cowboys football cards. That was the fastest that I've ever told that story. Maybe he gets away this time. No. <laughs> no again. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Who do we shoes who are we ladies and gentlemen i had a tough time deciding this kind of tough kind of not tough i've been back and forth to and fro you know i'm indecisive as all get out i'm just glad you guys are still around ladies and gentlemen however i did not pick an argonian i did not pick a breton i did not pick a dark elf I didn't pick a high elf i didn't pick an imperial i didn't pick a nord i didn't pick an orc i didn't pick a red guard and i didn't pick a wood elf pot twist it's a nord <laughs> and for those of you who are wondering i did not pick a khajiit so i obviously lied i obviously lied ladies and gentlemen we're going dark elf my probably my third or fourth favorite race in skyrim the dark elves part two it's john cena ladies and gentlemen the dark elf let's go on ahead and start customizing him so it's gonna be a him obviously and let's go on ahead and get a cool uh honestly we'll just start off with the basic guy here and i think i'm gonna go with this dark elf is darker <laughs> and obviously he's gonna be a buffed out steroided up steroided up dark elf he been eating his protein man complexion he'll be young no dirt he does have scars, ladies and gentlemen. These scars come from an attack on his house, attack on his home. Ladies and gentlemen, this mere, when he was a mere lad, when he was a boy, a, a group of Nordic raiders came to his ha to his home in Solstam. Right? We'll do that, and that, we could pretend like that's part of his scar, maybe. Uh, no. Should we go with war paint? I don't feel like we have. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go with no war paint. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, his father and mother brutally killed in this attack from the Nords on his home. His house burned to the ground. He was hiding away in a cupboard when a kind Nordic, when a kind Nordic man found him. And he, said, and he thought to himself, man, this guy, this kid, this kid has nothing to do with this conflict. He's just a child. He is a dark elf, but he's just a child. So, needless to say, the kind Nordic man takes in J. Krell. That's his name. Takes in J. Krell. And gives him a home. And he raises him. And he, and, he, and he gives him a place to stay, right? 
and he and 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 he's cultivated in this place and he has three older brothers and a younger brother and all of his younger brothers are trained him and his brothers are trained in this art this ancient two-handed art with the sword right it's called the it's called we'll call it we'll call it fire style from demon demon slayer or something i don't know what to call it you guys can come up with some names anyway this nordic man adopts him and starts to try to teach him and cultivate him to be a nordic warrior just like his brother so he didn't feel different then he never took to it he prepared his protein shakes he never took to it. J. Krell could never figure out how to use the two-handed weapons. It felt like it was blasphemous to him that he couldn't even grasp a two-handed sword. He was so far behind his brothers. Even his younger brother, even his younger brother was surpassing him in skill. His father, he felt like a disappointment to his father. He was never allowed to leave the house without his brothers and his full set of armor on. Ladies and gentlemen, he knows what it's like. J. Krell knew what it was like from a young age to be an outcast. He knew what it was like from a young age to be an outcast, ladies and gentlemen. And he gets his eyebrows done daily, I guess. No. But he knew what it was like to be an outcast. That's the last time I'm going to say that. Sorry. So... While his father would push him, he was encouraged never to use his skills in the destruction magic arts. He was discouraged from using his skills. He couldn't use his skills. He couldn't refine them to their best of their ability, always being warned to never let people see who you are, Jake Rail. So later on in his life, when he becomes a young man, when he's a young man of 23 years old, right? He becomes, or he, he, he's going, let's say he's going out, right? We're still, and it's still a work in progress. We're not done by any means with his, with his lore. But let's say, let's say, you know, he's not done by any means with his lore. They don't have the long beard. I wanted the long beard. I guess that's the longest beard they've got for a dark elf. I kind of like that one for him. So. One day he sees a young, a young child. And he, and he helps him get out of a tree, right? And he slips and falls and his helmet falls off. And they realize, yo, Jay Krell. He's a he's a dark elf. I don't know if you know this, but Nords are kind of racist towards dark elves. They hate each other. They absolutely hate each other. Right? And <clears throat> they find out and a group of angry Nords from his hometown of White Run, they all surge his home right outside of White Run, the Tundra homestead. Right outside his home, they storm his home, burn it to the ground again, right, ladies and gentlemen, kill his Nordic father and all of his brothers and his adopted mother, ladies and gentlemen. They're all done. They're all dead. Kills every one of them for being a traitor to the true Nords and sons and daughters of Skyrim. Ladies and gentlemen, J. Krell didn't know what to do. He was surrounded by 10 to 15 Nords, Nord, uh, Nord, Nord soldiers. He didn't know what to do. They were outclassing him. He couldn't use any of his natural born ability. He hadn't honed it. He didn't know how to use a sword. He wasn't a good fighter. He wasn't a good fighter, ladies and gentlemen. He was bad. He's surrounded by 10 to 15 guys. And in a moment of pure desperation, J. Krell, does this work? No, it'd be this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to do that. And in a moment of pure... No, that doesn't work. We'll go back to this one. And in a moment of pure desperation. Right? Moment of pure desperation. J. Krell feels this power start to boil in his chest. And slowly but surely, he can feel it rising to the top. 
and ladies and gentlemen, he explodes with the kind of rage that he's never felt before. All of the times that his mother and father were, sl or all the time that his mother and father was slain, all the time that he had to suppress who he was, all the time that his now adopted family that cared for him so much and tried to help him and tried to let him be like them, all the time they're dead, they're gone. Everybody that he's ever loved is gone. J. Krell expl explodes with a force that he's never felt, that nobody, he's never seen it before. Spoiler alert, that's his shout, right? That's the first time his dragonborn power ever manifested itself, okay? So, anyway, J. Krell runs south through Riverwood, through Helgen. He runs south to the border, to Cyrodiil. He tries to flee the country to a place maybe where he won't be he won't be exiled just for who he is. Right? He won't be exiled for who he is. So then, on his way to Cyrodiil, ladies and gentlemen, would you not know who it was? The Imperial Legion captures him, tortures him for knowing something because they recognize the sigil on his armor. They recognize the craftsmanship of his armor. They know it's Nordic. They know it's Stormcloak. Okay? They know it's Stormcloak. So then, they torture him. They, 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 they imprison him. They put him on this cart to go kill him. Jake wouldn't give it up. Jake Krell wouldn't give it up. He stayed true to his Nordic, Nordic roots till the bitter end, ladies and gentlemen, till the bitter end. And that is how we find ourselves here on the chopping block. Ladies and gentlemen, he was born a long time ago. But this is where our story picks up. J. Krell Varen, ladies and gentlemen. Another refugee? Gods really have abandoned your people, Dark Elf. Yeah, Captain, they have. What should we do? He's not I hope you guys like that lore. I hope you guys like that. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. Donovan Morris. <laughs> We'll make sure your names are returned. So proud of your backstory roleplay, Jake. Oh, you, uh, yeah. Hey, I got it from you guys. You guys are crazy. You guys are you guys go hard on your lore and stuff. So I figured I'd I figured I'd try to follow suit. That lore was scrumptious. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I've been thinking about it since last stream. Oh, frick, Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder. Which his I'll tell you this. Also, the the lore makes me feel even closer to him. It's weird, man. I, I'm invested in J. Krell of Aaron. I'm so invested. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. Skyrim takes place. We commend your souls to Ethereus. Blessings of the eight divines upon Oh yeah, they do. I mean, I'm not saying they have. I'm not saying they don't have legitimate reasons. I'm just saying. Skyrim, first off, people don't understand this too. They're like, oh, the Nords are the Nords are racist, the Nords are racist, blah, blah, blah. They don't understand. Literally every race in Skyrim is racist. Every single race in Skyrim. You say the same. Have restart Otis. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> no, man, this is the last run. This is the big let's play. This is gonna be him. This is Jake Crow Baron. And I actually had this guy a while back with none of the lore. I just made him up. Is this base game? This is Anniversary Edition base game, if that makes sense. So all the Creation Club stuff that was included with the Anniversary Edition is in this, but it's no mods on top of that. So no graphic mods, no nothing like that. That crunch of the head, man. <laughs> oh. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, let's try to get 30 locks. What in oblivion is that? Oh, oh golly. It's in the Sorry, guys. Oh. J. Crow Varen feels it in his heart. This is strikingly similar to that power I felt. <laughs> no, we're not going to do full on let's play. Let's go. Speed run with J. Krill. 
We are going to be speed running, by the way. I want to get to a very specific point tonight. And we've only got about an hour and a half, hour and 15 to do, or hour and 45 to do it. Up to 60 mods twice more. Holy cow. It's really good. Ladies and gentlemen, even though the Nords hurt him, the Imperials tortured him just to get to the Nords. If if he had to pick, he's going with his Nords. He was raised as a Nord. He's a playful puppy. He friendly. <laughs> We'll meet again in Southern Guard, brother. So sad. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Yeah, that looks like that's the case. That thing was a dragon. Yeah, no it was. Uh huh. Just like the children's stories and the legends. It was. The Rayloff is the goat, times. for real, for real. Rayloff never did nothing. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunyard. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this daggum stud. Look at this stud. What a stud. Man. You chose Dunmer? Yep. Chose a Dunmer, man. Chose a Dunmer, Mary Marinon. Rayloff was glitched in the cave? Oh, man, that sucks. This bro is jacked. Oh, he's ready to take out some. Oh, he's ready to take out some anger on this woman. Wait, let's make sure we're on the rock. Diff. Adept. We'll stay on adept for a while till it gets easy. Easy peasy. Maybe one of these Imperials had the key. Find the key? See if it unlocks that door. All right, here we go. A very integral part. He's putting it on just for protection right now. Just for protection. Pro Stormcloaks or pro, uh, pro Empire? I am kind of in between, honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, I don't know if you can tell by the armor top and kind of the play style, we are going to be a battle mage, kind of half and half, if you will.
something useful and let's go. Ninja, the Forsworn armor of the gods is pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I'm actually, dude, I'm actually going to be getting that pretty soon. In a, uh, what's it called? That gum. I can't even talk right now. I'm just so excited to be playing. Oh, you ain't gonna have, you ain't gonna have time to get killed by a dragon, buddy. Jake Crow Baron, Baron is back for a vengeance, dude. You never should have come here. Get lost. Easy mode. Literally, these guys are on easy mode. Should we crank it to expert, TBH? Now we could do something like Let's go on ahead. trying to level up destruction super quick, but since we're going to be using destruction so much and I'm kind of between doing like a heavy armor, but a mage, just full mage, but with heavy armor, or if I'm going to do the one handed spell sword kind of a situation, I'm kind of thinking maybe just doing a straight up mage build. I think that would be very, very cool to have a unique kind of spin to it. But we are going to very quickly get some very overpowered armor, um, if you will. Conjuration, perhaps. Maybe eventually. I think that Jake's going to want to... Jake Carell is going to want to get into all of his... All of his magical roots. Okay, am I even close to leveling up? See, I'm not even close to leveling up. That's the problem. I think maybe we could just sit on set on a rail off and just level up just try to level up destruction once is it even close not e not really oh we can't wait that's gonna be a bore how much did that get us? Okay, okay. So we're not gonna have to wait too long, I guess, right? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, if we get two more locks, that'd be fantastic. I think you should do legendary and survival for the whole run. Golly, TDV, you're trying to hurt your boy. I know you're on my side, Rayloth, but that don't matter. What are you doing? What are you doing? Grab one-handed to level up. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, be careful. I'll grind this and do destruction what are you doing? just to get to where I can do sneak I don't really want to should we do sneak yeah but that'll get that gets destruction to level 100 if we get destruction to level 100 then that's kind of I feel like that's bad because we're going to use destruction a lot you know what I mean and permadeath, golly, Attic Ninja. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, top one in the chat if I should power level sneak, top two in the chat if I should not power level sneak. Let's keep moving. Come on, this way. Hey, careful. Even, even. Let's keep moving. Two, a lot of twos, man. Okay, we won't, we won't, we won't level it up. But we'll go on ahead and go. I guess, yeah, this will level up on the bear. That'll be kind of cool. A lot of twos. We're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna, we're not gonna level up sneak this time. Maybe next time. Or will there be a next time? Who knows? I would like to get some solid gear for the next video. What's one or two for? Oh, it's for uh, leveling up sneak, but it's already two, so. Golly. And that gets us the level, which is fantastic. Here we go. Ba 
Uh, no, we do not want to play survival mode. Sorry. That is a little bit too much for me. Relaf? Buddy? You all right? Keep putting one foot in front of the other. He feels, it looks like he's about to die, dude. There he goes. Relaf. Looks like my man. For good this my main man. No way to the only skills I cheese are enchanting and smithing. Just can't be bothered with those the proper way. Yeah. Uh, enchanting, smithing, and alchemy are the, my three big skills. That's actually one of the best videos that I think I've got. It's the video where I do all three of those, but that's my opinion. What do we got? 209 out of 300. That's not a lot of carry weight, but I think we're still just going to beeline straight up. Philip Davis, 32 locks. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate that a ton. Oh, dude, that's so awesome looking. I absolutely love Skyrim, man. Just the way it looks. Absolutely phenomenal. Even after 13 years, look at that beauty. Look at that. Hmm. Well, we weren't supposed to go this way. I can tell you that right now. Earliest death ever, question mark. Thirty-two people locked after me. Way to rub it in, Wyvern. <laughs> Wolf. I want smoked wolf. No way. Why did it crash? Bro, if that just deleted my character, I'm going to lose it. Surely it auto saves, right? Classic Skyrim. Skyrim crashed what <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> gas gas looks like we're the only ones who no way that thing was a dragon no doubt this is like skyrim to a the t legends. the harbingers of the end times we better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah, I know it, it ought to be. There you go. I'm I am There's gonna. Oh my here. gosh, I am so power leveling through here. Not power leveling. I'm gonna get through here as fast as possible. Hurry up. All right. Get that armor on. I'm giving you a proper send off for the last go round. Yeah, for real. I've never, never got there thank you jake for your tutorials man i appreciate that i appreciate that 100 percent. that's why i make them help you guys out help you guys level up level up okay come on boys let's go i'm ready to i'm ready to speed run this come on soldiers keep moving cover it's the escape prisoners can i check my saves yeah sure Yeah, it's it's a done deal, Janine. <laughs> yeah, I did start another last character. Or no, not another one. Uh, Skyrim glitched out. Ooh, baby girl. J. Krell Varen is absolutely losing it. Let's see how fast I can get through here. Okay, what time are we at? 44? All right, 44, I started at 4430. Easy mode, easy mode. Okay, that's uh, blur that out.
Hey, shut up, Rayloff. I know you're glitching out because I'm going so fast. But still. Come on, buddy. We are. We just lost a ton of time. I'm trusting you guys to take him down. Easy mode. No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Dude, the menus can't even keep up with how fast I'm going, bro. What was the glitch for the last character? What do you mean? Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. Speedrun trying to. Trying to. We lost a whole bunch of progress. I'm just trying to get out of Helgen Keep as fast as possible. Until we get our weapons our weapons and armor that we're going to use for the rest of the run or not for the rest of the run but for a solid section until we get to uh, we'll take these just to have them in case yeah i'm very glad that i didn't sit in power level now because that would have been a very long time of just Wasted time time to the wind speaking of which let's throw down a quick save <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're making very fast progress progress Easy and we can't wait in this time, so. Yeah, we need to save. We need to actually put down a save. Here we go. sad part is we didn't actually level up that time but you know it is what it is four minutes it was roughly four minutes which yeah uh, you know not my best i don't think but you know is what it is about yeah about four minutes took us to get through uh hell can keep all right hopefully it doesn't crash on us again if it does crash on us again we're gonna be in trouble mainly because i'm gonna lose motivation but wait all right, we'll go ahead. Oh, crap, didn't mean to do that. Okay. So should we go full mage with heavy armor or should we go spell sword with heavy armor? Such a short life, yes. But he lives on with Jake Hill the Great. It's pretty much the same guy. <laughs> Spell sword, you guys think? You took the you picked a bad time to find me, buddy. That's the best comeback of that I think I've ever given. You picked a bad time to get lost. You picked a bad time to find me. That's what you tell him. Oopsie. All right, give me back control of my character here, buddy. Thank you. And we will take that. Uh, and then there should be this there should be a one-handed book in here somewhere yep bingo baby and now we should be about in an area to find a shrine to talos that's it right there 
come up here and get us a little bit of extra loot to sell. Spell sword. Okay. You're going to pick up that armor. What armor? What armor? Uh, we do need to put this on. Okay, rule for my build. I have to use heavy armor. I can't use anything else. Where's the Thalmor guy? On long arrow shots, it brings me deep pain. Yes, especially, dude, especially when they miss. When they miss, it's even worse because they can miss. It's not always guaranteed a kill. That's the sucky part, I think. Okay, I think you guys know which armor that I'm going to get for like this guy's eventual build. Um, but I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it as a surprise for now. We'll leave it as a surprise because I don't want to spoil it. But it is a pre-made set. I'll say that. We'll do mage because destruction skills are harder to level up in the end. Instead of warrior skills. At least I feel that with destruction specifically is harder to level up. Brorum McBrorums. <laughs> A lot of you probably know. Oh, what's your rules on spoiling here? But I never know. <laughs> no, you're fine, bro. You can say whatever. If 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 you guys haven't experienced all that Skyrim has to offer, then I'm sorry, but uh you're in the wrong spot. We're going to be exploiting the crap out of this game. Oh no, the wolves. The wolves of Crash Town. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it with a quickie before. Hit it with a little quick save action. Now, where's this Ember Shard mine? I need to get me some XP before we move on. I do need to level up at least once. Easy. She just goes, ah! <laughs> Force one problem. Yeah, me too, man. I, I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of Markarth because how vertical it is. That's just my opinion. My favorite city is obviously Whiterun, my favorite place in all of Skyrim. That's the place that gives me them Skyrim vibes, you know what I mean? Easy mode. We actually probably do need to be looting these guys. We're not quite in that that good of a financial situation yet. We will be, but not yet. Where is that stupid lever? Oh yeah. Sometimes you forget the easy things to remember. There are no exploits in Skyrim, only features. I couldn't agree more. I don't know why I said that. I thought one of those guys had a steel axe, but could be mistaken. Oh, one of my biggest goals with this guy too, by the way, is getting every spell. I want to get every single spell in the game on this cat. Right here. Not cat, if you get that you get what i mean this is the guy with the war axe okay now we'll take this we will put that on we will drop that drop drop and hit it with a drop drop in here spell tome for healing i feel like that's it's not rare that we find it because we've already got it but it's rare to see that. Does that make sense? Am I the only one that feels that way? The heal tone or the spell tone for healing. That's wild. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
and he never even touched me. He got close, but he didn't. So I could stab you in the back. Man, part of me really thinks that I need to like get new dialogue mod or something. Easy. Man, these guys do not know what they're doing. Should I speedrun uh, Bleak Falls too? Do you guys think so? Since we did it literally three streams ago. What do you guys think about that? Bleak, uh, speed run Bleak Falls? Okay. I'll do it. I don't even care. We'll see how fast we can clear Bleak, Bleak Falls. I will have to pee before that though. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys are having a, fanta a fantastic time here in the stream. The Winster ha has got to be the most broken weapon in Skyrim. 100% it is, 100%. But we're not gonna be even able to get Windshear for a long time because I'll let you guys know something. When we do a quest line in this game, I'm going to completely, I'm gonna completely complete, like complete it, if that makes sense. Every side quest, every radiant quest, every quest in that guild. So like be prepped. So this stream and then the next stream after that will be their own kind of thing. We're going to really be focusing on getting our guy to a solid level. Then after we get our guy to a solid level, kind of like the last let's play, but with a mage. I said, I don't know what trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Then we are going to be able to sell that. Sorry, sell that as well. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, 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 sell. Oh my gosh, this guy. Okay, now let's see what he's got in terms of spell tones. We'll take Frostbot. I'll take Fury. I'll take Oak Flesh. And that's the only really ones that I want. Uh, we'll take, we'll sell those. Uh, we could sell that because we're not allowed to use anything but heavy armor, which might be a stupid rule that comes to haunt us. We'll sell that. Sell that. Both of those, that, 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 and that. Looks good to me. We got it. Yeah, we already got almost a thousand gold off that. Oh yeah. Sorry guys, I get a little spacey sometimes. It's something happened. <laughs> you could. I get that claw back, which we're gonna have to steal it. But anyway, I'll be right back, boys. You bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those seeds, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I. By the eight, fine, but only to the edge of town. All right, boys, it's time to uh, get back after it. <clears throat> Okay, so obviously we're gonna go straight to Bleak Falls Barrow, then straight to White Run, back here. Okay, so we're going here, baby. Bleak Falls back. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the And I'll be honest with you, also, I don't want to glitch out my weapon. So like, I don't want to get a crazy good weapon. Right off the bat, like we could go for like Dusk Fang or one of the anniversary edition weapons. That's like really easy to start off and get. I don't want to do that because we want to have some progression because our armor is absolutely busted. When we get our armor, trust me, you guys are going to, I mean, you know, it's fantastic armor. It, it's, it's in the lore, we're going to pretend like it's his dad's armor. The guy who, the Nord who adopted him. We're going to pretend like that's his, even though it's not the same guy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try to get 35 locks. Actually, let's go for 40. Let's just shoot for 40 straight up right now, ladies and gentlemen. 
Let's shoot for 40 likes on the stream. Really appreciate you guys being out here on a fantastic Monday night. Got my wind shear at 480 damage with no alchemy glitch. How did you do that, TTV? Holy cow. You just parkour 360 over a tree. <laughs> guess how hot it is in the house? I'm going to guess 79. 79 degrees. If you're saying it's hot, 79 degrees. 100 undying ghost. Oh, wait. That, that reminded me, Benjamin. Hitting those spells. All right. So now let's actually go ahead and get some of this. Alteration is going to be oak flesh. So we will favorite that. And put it at... Well, we can't do that yet. So we'll favorite oak flesh. We'll go in and favorite flames. Favorite frostbite. New sub, Sandler Delicious. I appreciate that, Sandler. Thank you. Now we'll go to Restoration, and we will favorite Healing. And I think that's it. That's all for our favorites, but we will go in here. Go ahead and assign that to 1. Assign that to 2. Assign that to 3. So now we should be able to hit 1 and get Boom. There we go. Let's go ahead. Weapons. Favorite. Right hand. Now let's check. Try this out. Oh! <gasps> No way it changes like that. All right, now we got Oak Flesh, so we should take much less damage. This build is going to be so fun. I'm so excited for this build, guys. You have no idea. I've never done something like this before. A spell sword like this. I usually use, like, the healing, but I never do the full-on, you know, spell sword-esque build. Like, switching like that in... in Dude, let me know if you guys are excited for this. I'm very excited. This is so much different than anything I've ever done. I'm so excited for this Let's Play. The first part's going to be kind of confusing because we restarted once and we... And we straight up got glitched out of the game. But, man, I'm very excited. How long does Oak Flesh last? Let's actually try to see if we can see... For 60 seconds raises your armor rating by 40 points and obviously there's better versions of oak flesh uh chicken nugs uh brother has jeez and you changed N man okay i'm hard up nugs i'm hard up for two kinds of cheese and they haven't changed in decades well since i came out for one of them but white cheddar and toasted if they ever made a toasted white cheddar i'd probably lose my mind i'd be in the insane asylum i'd be in the insane asylum bro well it's been up and down like crazy in north carolina uh, i survive heating and air it's wild we service heating and air oh so you're hvac guy fix heat in the morning and ac in the afternoon <laughs> 63 out now oh you're talking about outside you live in ohio oh okay been the same here one day hot and cold yeah exactly that's the same right here same way here it was very warm today it felt very good outside today we'll set an armor with plus 28 fortify smithing dude you're crazy I think we are going to steer clear of that glitch, though, on this. I don't think we're going to do that. You could DIY them, but the white ones, take them yourself. Nugs, you might be right. Nugs might be right here. Nugs could be right. That was not worth it, but okay. If you didn't know that, that's a secret. That I apparently am stuck in. Man, I'm so ready to go, man. This is lit. I'm so happy right now with this build. Mm. So we'll do that. And then as we get into a battle, we'll start up our flames, right? All right. Uh, 105 is when we got inside here. 105. We'll see how long it takes us. Oh my gosh. There we go. Take all the gold or all of the stuff that we can get here. Bro, 
perfect. Take both of those. Been an illusion assassin. I have not. I have not. Here's 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy cow. You're, you, you pro you're probably north of Tennessee then, Janine. Unless you live in Tennessee. And I, I don't keep up with the weather. <laughs> Yo, ladies and gentlemen, four more locks. Four more locks. Or should I start saying Gaties and Littleman like I do in the in the pinned chat? <laughs> okay, we'll go back here because we're definitely going to need this for that. Wow, she still does so much damage. Oh, Wisconsin? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely north. One handed increased 24. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go obviously Magicka, obviously Magicka. Then we'll go Destruction. We're going to do Novice level spells cost half. Then we have to wait for that. But we should be able to go to Alteration. And let's see here. Cost Novice level, cast nav Navis, cost not. I can't even talk. It is a novice. Okay, so if we go here, I'm going to go with this because I think it's worth it. Magic resistance, mage armor, protection spells like stone flesh are twice as strong if not wearing armor. Okay, that's not going to really apply to us. Magic resistance blocks 10% of spell effects. That's actually going to be pretty solid. I've not explored a lot of these, if you can tell. Atronach, absorb 30% of the magic of any spell that hits you. Holy cow, man. Can't wait to get can't wait to get that alteration spell leveled up. And, and here we are supposed to be speed running bleak falls, and I'm stopping here to read spell spell effects. Snake snake will. And there's the skiva. And we can now cast so much more. Could be another skeever. Wow, I've never actually seen it that far. What's your favorite quest line? Dude, I've gotta say either. I'm gonna put it either. Um I'll say my favorite quest line probably in Skyrim is the Dark Brotherhood. I love the Dark Brother. Always has been my favorite. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do this. There we go. Okay, yeah, this guy is getting to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, had to cheese it. Sorry, guys. Let's go. Now we'll wait for an hour. We'll just stand there and stare at him for an hour. It's coming loose. I can feel it. And we know he's obviously a bad guy already. So sorry, Arvel, but uh, you really had no chance, buddy. Okay. So let's find the secret to Bleak Falls or the secret of Bleak Falls. I actually get the oak flesh off? Yeah, I believe it is. Oh, wow, that uh, Draugr just committed suicide. Okay. That's something. Man, what a beast, dude. What a beast. And we're obviously going to have to make a build video on this. We're obviously going to have to make a build video on this guy. Holy cow, this is awesome. I might just be fangirling because it's the first 
character I've put more into and I've actually like tried with to make it a decent like fun looking build or it could you know who knows I think he's gonna win oh man that was very 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 close not as close as I thought because we had to we had to level up but zombie robot a new forehead touches the beacon. Blue and red spells hitting each other. <laughs> this is a beam struggle from Dragon Ball Z for real. I get some of that heavy armor increase. Easy mode, baby. Love to see this. Sorry if I'm spam waiting, uh, guys, but that is the fastest way to heal your armor or heal your health and um, easiest way to heal your health and magicka at the same time. mode i'm playing on easy mode right now no i'm not for real oh by the way never did the bards college I'm actually going to be able to clear dude the bards college was underrated in my opinion man the the perk of getting one of every level one of every skill leveled up once oh man only been here about 20 minutes what's the guy look like uh this is our guy he's a battle mage dark elf his name is Jake Krill Varen. Uh, caught the live. God, bl God bless you, brothers and sisters, man. I appreciate that. State Staton Staten flips Staton flip. I, I, I don't know how to say it, but loves there, man. <laughs> we'll take some of these just in case. And I am very, very excited. I was excited last time, but not like this. This is completely different. Man, I'll have to put the lore in the Discord. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not a member of the Discord, feel free to join. The Discord is absolutely popping off. We've almost got 50 members. We may very well have 50 members by now, but definitely join the Discord. Oh, you might want to save just in case. Yeah, for real. You're exactly right, buddy. Number is a good choice. Thank you, Zombie Rob. Or Zombie Robot. Ooh. Ugh somebody tell him all right two more locks ladies and gentlemen were our, our goal of 50 locks okay there we go that easy that is what i call a w what is this guy's name again uh what is that guy's name again um this guy his name is j krell varen that's his name i try to keep it a lore friendly name while also be having Jake in it because I just think it's funny we will quick save before this guy come on come here that's right little boy call for your mama oh that's right little boy little boy little baby bat boy Oh, that's right. Claw for your mama. <laughs> no, I meant the ball spell sword in solitude. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, man. Dude, my, my Skyrim knowledge is crazy good in some areas and in other areas. I might as well have not even played the game. Leak Falls Sanctum. Man, ladies and gentlemen, God, golly, 40 locks. You guys are crazy. I, I'm still in shock at how, how much support these streams are getting. No lie, no lie. In the next episode, we are going to be going through and trying to get as many spells as we can. Like, we're going to just try to be leveling up, leveling up a whole bunch, getting us some better spells and things like that. 
and prepping for that College of Winterhold grind. We're gonna do every quest in the College of Winterhold probably in the next week or two. Okay, I actually do want to get some of this leveled up. I've watched so many lore videos lately, it's crazy. It's insane how in-depth I mean, it all actually is. Yeah, man. Skyrim is a crazy in-depth game. Crazy in-depth game. And there's so much stuff that people don't even see on, like, the surface. And, like, I don't even see, you know? I've introduced my husband to Dragon Ball, and he's enjoying it. We're on episode 103 of, like, OG Dragon Ball, Janine. Dragon Ball is still one of my favorite animes. It's my favorite. It's got to be my favorite. It's on the, on this. I'll show you. Literally, it's right here. I knocked out my sign. But, bro, I've got the manga right here. I got the manga right here, ladies and gents. I mean, straight up. You know what I'm saying? I got the manga. I get demonetized for showing this much manga, man. But I love it. I absolutely love Dragon Ball. It's literally got to be my favorite. For real. All right. So we hit those twice, right? Or did we just hit it once? It's like this. Yeah, the 1986 anime. 153 episodes. Man. Dude, my favorite arc. My favorite span is from King Piccolo up until Cell. That's the best section of it. Yeah, Dra Birch Birch's gateway anime was uh, Dragon Ball. All right, we'll go ahead and get stone flesh ready. We'll get stone flesh and then we'll get healing because I feel like this guy's going to do a whole bunch of damage. Brony Kenshin and the original Full Metal Alchemist, not Brotherhood. Everyone loves Brotherhood. I, lo I love Brotherhood, man. I've not watched the original. Yeah, I was confused too, but man, I I'm telling you, I'd rather, I'd rather watch or read manga than watch anime. Most of the time. Ah. I was about to say, man, we were so close to having a damageless run. Donovan Morris, if you had to pick a Daedric artifact, what would be your favorite one? I'd say either Ebony Blade or no style wise playthrough wise my runes razor because i use it the most it has to be my favorite if i use it the most um however dude we just got that destruction but it's not heavy armor we have to we have to dis disenchant that and get that on some heavy armor asap but my favorite looking in in and in the lore is the ebony ebony blade um but the one that I use the most is Meroon's Razor. That's my favorite looking dagger in the whole game is Meroon's Razor. I feel like that's not a hot take either. Maybe the Blade of Woe, a lot of people probably like it, but I'm a big... Am I the only one that likes Naruto? Benjamin, you are absolutely not the only one that likes Naruto, man. Naruto is so lit. Naruto makes me cry, dude. I love Naruto. I, I literally made my wife watch all of Naruto. And I was like, man, Allie, it's going to make you cry. And she was like, nah, no way. No way a cartoon makes me cry. And I was like, first off, it's an anime. But it's going to make you cry. And it did. It made her cry. 100%. Ball and Dork's nice. To a point. Same with One Piece. Only up to a point. What's your point for Naruto, Janine? The Waba Jack. That's a fun one, too. The fun ones are nice. One manga book I still have is Naruto bridge scene with Zabuza. Oh man, that's sad. I've seen most of the episodes of Naruto. Have you seen Shippuden? Also, Tyler. <laughs> oh, don't, can't forget our potion right here and let's go um we'll go back to bleak falls up to white run back to riverwood that's usually the route i think 
north northeast one piece for me crocodile alabasta that's fair oh zach it was 100 percent worth it buddy you have all the original xbox 360 and xbox games or xbox 360 naruto games oh Gerard. oh man pervy sage don't even get me started that's my favorite character in all of naruto i love Gerard, dude For some reason, I love the goofy teacher that can just amp it up. Diet Coke, where's the sponsorship? I love Kakashi too, man. Kakashi and Jirai are my favorites. Dude, and I'll tell you this, man. When when freaking when Naruto meets his mom for the first time, you talk about a tearjerker, dude. Sanguine Rose is your favorite Daedric artifact? Wow. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever heard somebody say that. That's fair. That's fair, zombie. Atachi's your favorite. Atachi's your favorite? That's a red flag, I feel like. In my opinion. But you know, man, you like who you like. You know it? A pit wolf? The heck's a pit wolf? It vipers? Oh yeah, they did him dirty. They did him dirty big time. They did him dirty big time. But you think about this: he's the only one besides Naruto and Konohamaru that beat a path of pain. Konohamaru beat that one path with a with a Rasengan, and then Naruto beat the other paths. He's the only one that was strong enough to beat a path of pain. And he single handedly, without without Jirai, he would not have been. They would not have been able to beat pain. They did his death great. I loved his death. I, I was sad to see him go, but I love to watch him leave. Does that make sense? Part of Naruto that made me cry was after the pain fight was over and Kakashi carried. Oh, bro. Oh, man, Mike. Don't even get me started on that scene, dude. When he catches him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, true. Did he take out two or three? I thought he took out three. I thought he took. He ganked two and then took the one back to the village. Why is it a red flag? He does everything because he loves Sasuke. Yeah, but like, I feel like at a certain point, if you're that strong, I like Itachi too. My favorite line from Itachi is when they're about to fight him and Sasuke. And, he, and he's like, you want me dead? Go ahead, make it happen. And then they start fighting. So lit, dude. Such a lit scene. Love Naruto, man. Absolutely love it. Jake, you like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen? I love Jujutsu Kaisen. We'll pay whatever it takes. Yeah, Gojo, Gojo is my favorite character. Gojo is my favorite character. Haki. I love Juj I love JJK. 100%. I watched that one recently, actually. I watched that one in like uh, January, probably. Gonna be pretty good when Pain, sh when Pain shoots that nail in Kakashi and you think he dies. Dude, when he, go when he goes to his dad, when he goes and talks to his dad, man, oh my gosh. And then at the very end when Naruto's talking to Minato and he's like, you know, I'm eating plenty of food and, you know, I have plenty of friends. Dude, so sad. Oh yeah, I have to watch it twice. Man, I need to rewatch Naruto, man. I've got to rewatch Naruto now. You guys are putting it in my head, dude. I've got to rewatch. <laughs> got to rewatch. The sooner you find the claw, <laughs> I've got the golden claw. I'm put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never put it back where it belongs. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. So lost. Sorry, oh, twice born. You, you need so to go watch Naruto. Care of those thieves. <laughs> uh, let's go and, me, and sell trinkets, some stuff. Dude. Odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see if he's got any more books. Maybe we could get Ray's zombie. I don't really need it. To be honest, Errol. We need the Mage's back backpack. Bows do ten percent more damage. But does he have the? There's one that increases Magicka also, or it increases something with Magicka. Oh, we've got to have that. We've got to have that, right? Yeah, I'm taking that. We'll just sell him our entire life away to this guy. I mean, 
We're not even close to getting that back. <laughs> we'll save that one to dis dismantle it. We just bought that from him for way more than that. I feel kind of ripped, but it's whatever. Sell that thief book. Sell the amber. Sell the amethyst. Sell the garnet. Sell the iron ingot. Sell the soul gem. Sell the linen wrap. And we'll sell that soul gem too. And we still didn't even come close to making our gold back, but it was worth it because for now, got this. 12% less to cost. Or less to cast. Been looking to watch Hunter Hunter, but Crunchyroll looks like it starts in season five, so I don't know where else to look. Hunter Hunter is very confusing. Like timeline wise. I've I've read a lot of One Piece. I've not watched any of it. Alright, actually there is something that I want to do before I do anything else. And it is going to be Internet Archive. Yeah, I've got a... There is another one. I, WCO Forever or something like that is what it's called. It's like a cartoon thing. Very, very cool. Yo, Fried Sushi. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it a ton. Dragons, I can handle. This talk of dragons, all gone mad. <clears throat> all right. So, let's see what we can do here. Uh, actually, and we've made pretty good progress. We've already got it done here. Light run stables. We're going to go get our armor by the end of today's episode. Which it shouldn't take too long. I like to hire your carriage. Uh, we'll go to Dawnstar first. We're going to get a lot of the a lot of the usable locations first. Yeah, it, pro it probably is there, Zach. One piece, is, one piece is very good. One Piece is a master class. For real, for real, my man. Whoa. Gotta actually discover Dawnstar. I forget that it doesn't automatically discover it for you. Okay. Now that we've got Dawnstar, we are needing to go to Iverstead. Or we need to go like over here. Is there a path? Because there's a specific. That right there. That's what I'm looking for. Right there, baby. Okay, so we're going to travel that way before we do anything. Um, and I don't know if we can go back to Helgen and go that way. I don't think we can. All right. Let's try this. Okay, and we're going to be going to the west. No, to the east. We're going to be going northeast, right? North. No, we're going to be going south. We're going to be east. Primarily east. I guess we could just stay on the flipping road, man. I don't know if we can get it this way, though. I really don't. I ain't got no clue. Twenty-eight to thirty-three episodes for one chapter. Holy cow, man! That's crazy. That's why I can't do that. I can't do that, man. Cannot do that. Yep, we're going to Arkwind, baby. You already know what I'm saying. You already know what I'm saying, Tyler. Tyler knows. Are you SRS? I don't know what that. Means. Bro, this makes me want to start a new character. This is a great, great stream. Man, I appreciate it, dude. This has been a fantastic stream. Very, very good stream. Uh, I consider any of them where we're above 20, above 20 guys and consistent. I consider those phenomenal. You know what I mean? That's that's more than I could ever ask for. Um, you know what I mean? Being serious, Jake. Oh, oh, are you? Oh, you were asking. Oh, okay. I see. I see. That's it right there. That's actually it. I think. Don't want to die. Don't want to die. Bunch of old Shonen Jump books. That's actually awesome. What? Donovan? Really, man? 
Dude, Donovan, that's fantastic. Dude, yeah, oh, man, you made my, you went ahead and made my day, Donovan. That's awesome, dude. Hey, be sure to stay around. Be sure to stay around for the devotional at the end of the stream. Man, that, oh, dude, that gave me chills, man. I appreciate that, Donovan. That's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. Hold up, what you mean last character? Yep, this is my last character that I'm ever going to make. I'll let you interpret that the way you want to interpret it. Oh, come on. There we go. Very easy. How many episodes are there going to be? Oh, buddy. Of this stream, of this Let's Play? This Let's Play is going to go till I'm done with the game, which is 100%. I've never 100 percent in Skyrim, and I'm going to do it on J. Crow Varen, baby. I'm my very first roleplay-ish character. It's gonna be level a thousand. Oh, so this dude's gonna be level a thousand. Oh, easy. Well, maybe not a thousand. We we might do a stream when we're kind of done with the quests and stuff like that. When we don't need it to be hard anymore, we'll probably do a stream where we make it uh, to level a thousand. See how long it takes. But that right there is what we're aiming for. We're aiming towards that big. What well, race? We are currently a dark elf. A dark elf battle mage. We use uh, heavy armor. We use heavy armor and we are going to be using um, a spell sword style. Kind of like what we got up open right here. A one handed kind of spell sword back and forth kind of style. your favorite skyrim youtuber thank you brother i man donovan you have no idea how much that means to me, man thanks like a mountain goat yeah for real <laughs> i don't want to get caught in between sections here okay, let's go back try it again there we go we got some ground got some ground got some ground Getting some more ground. Oh, easy mode. Easy mode. Come on, come on. There we go. Good. Dude, I'm I'm I am literally the mountain goat, bro. There it is. I see it. <gasps> we made it. Okay, that's gonna be tough. Go ahead and hit a quick save. I don't want that to open. If that opens, we're in trouble. Which I think it might actually be scaled rocker. Let's just quick save and see. No, it's not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not a scale place. Is this by Dawnstar? Uh, no, Benjamin, this is uh, down here. That's Helgen. Uh, right here is Iverstead, Windhelm. We're way down here. We're going to Arkwind Point. All right, we got to get in here and get out of here at the same time because these guys are going to do tons of damage to us. Oh, wait, that's just a Draugr. and get some xp while we're here and we got to keep in mind we do have the level in case it gets hairy so don't think there's much more up here is there oh you'll see you'll see robert arc wind arc wind is what it's called and we're here for this right here bjormund wind striders awesome awesome helmet increases fire resistance by 100 percent carrying capacity increased by 40 percent health increased by 50 points two-handed attacks do 30 percent more damage crazy good crazy good and we'll take wither shins which is going to level us up fantastic dude fantastic so, 
yep that's what i'm after man this is what i'm after this is absolutely what i'm after so let's go on ahead and put it on dragon mail and then the dragon plate so in one episode we already look like this the best armor in the game that you could find the best armor that you don't make yep oh and uh and uh by the way we are level three we are level three ladies and gentlemen we're level three and we have the best armor you can find in the game let's go muy broken no oh, broken muy all right let's go let's go let's get some questing done get some quests done well, that's gonna be a heck of a ride <laughs> Beat the Vandal Buster. You don't think it's good? All right, so we can go. And there's a ton of stuff we can do. Uh, so I was. I, spend a lot of time I hate how that cuts part of it off. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try to get to 50 locks before the stream is over here in about 30 or 45 minutes. So we're gonna we're gonna pretend like this is the armor of his father, his deceased father, that was or his deceased deceased adopted father. That is the lore behind this armor set specifically. And we will probably make new gauntlets, but that'll just be the. I mean, the, the gauntlets are very lore friendly because his his father had that two handed uh, uh, style with that dragon bone sword. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Who's this then? Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Okay, well then I'll speak to the Jarl personally. Oh, so you were at Helgen. Yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. It's, it's a very J. Krell thing to say. The, to the dragon destroyed Helgen. Now. And last I saw it was heading this away. Was right. <laughs> what do you say now? Prevent us. Should we trust in the trust in strength, strength of our walls against, against the, the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. It is. It is. I know what we're going to do for the rest of the stream. I know what we're going to do. It's called the best amulet in Skyrim, baby. Or my favorite, anyway. Sorry. Hit him with a... Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. Perhaps that'd be best, Preventus. Here. Uh, armor. Um, does he even see what I'm in right now? Blood. Blood. I'm a, in the best armor in the game, and he gives me steel armor. Like I'm gonna use it. Like I'm gonna use it. We'll come in here, and we will go on ahead. Disenchant that. Disenchant that. And that's all we needed. Faringar. I think I found someone that can help you. Dragon. Imagine I'm Faringar. How can Go I do this? I can't. I can't be Faringar. Yeah. Well, Alright, where am I going? What am I fetching? Go to oh, uh, do you mean this no. old stone? <laughs> I love that line. I love it. You already found it. So what's you my reward? And I watch him start to run. <laughs> But I was tweaking. The marriage qu quest rot from Mara. Remember that I like my meat rare. Dude, man, I've got so many video ideas. If you guys only knew how many video ideas I had, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay, hurry up. Not now. Not now. Not now. Only use the Thane weapons. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was far. I like this it's angle. Than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. 
No, my lord. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the back. The one love poem in Markor. You've earned it. Dude, I love that you guys have your own conversation in chat. <laughs> I love that. Okay, thank you, Earlith. Golly. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. The Mara side quest? But I, have I don't think I've ever done it. No time to Which isn't a surprise. Ooh, Iron Shield of Resist Magic. Okay, I don't really care about this quest, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's get ourselves a different quest. There's going to be right under this little flagon. The Lost Legends. So if we read that, we're going to get ourselves the Forbidden Legend. And it is going to be to find the Galder, investigate the Galder legend. Okay, so the Galder le legend, no. Dead gum. All right, Dragon Rising, no thank you, Forbidden Legend. I'd rather have that. So we're going to go to Ustengrav, which is up here by Morthal, which we can get to with a simple press of a button. Need a ride? I'll say this, since you guys are having a riveting conversation in the chat, if, you ha if anyone has a question, at me, okay? And I will respond. But I'm not going to break up the chat by just randomly quoting you guys <laughs> throughout your conversation. All right, let's go to Ustengrav. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to be safe in our own home? Nernroot, I heard it. Me. Yeah, I'll disrespect you whenever I want to, buddy boy. Bloody boy. We really man, should I get the I guess I should go find the lover stone pretty quick remind me to do that oh and guys remind me to blow that candle out also because if that candle don't get blown out it'll stay like that all night so what is good heavy mage armor senpai Jake I like this armor here make your own armor is always a, a uh, option and then also uh, there is a literal thing called mage armor and I've got a video on it here on the channel. It's literally called Mage Armor, and there's like three different varieties of it. Easy mode. Spotter pet that doesn't kill itself. <laughs> okay, we need Drevis Nelleran. Is that his name? Drevis Nelleran. No, Valen. Drevis Va or D Danis Valens. Research notebook. Paul Gunther. I don't know why I called it Ustengrav. Is Ustengrav the one in the main quest? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's go ahead. Quick save while we're here. I wonder if this is going to be... I feel like this is going to be much, much too hard for us to... 
do without leveling up. Yeah, let's just go ahead and level up because I'm going to need to... First off, we'll do a two Magicas. And now we'll go with one-handed up by 20 points. And then we'll go with a heavy armor up by 20%. I'm in. And we're back to doing some crazy good damage. And we've already got another level up. <laughs> Crazy good timing out there. Whoa. It's very cool that we're going to be able to set off these environmental kills now. Your personal devotional uh, is Matthew 5, 27 through 30. Let me guess, is that the Sermon on the Mount? By chance? Oh, didn't give me that time, buddy boy. Okay, here we go. Ivory claw, bang, 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 bang. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh, come on. Stupid Draugr's getting past me. Take the gold, don't really need the arrows. It's boom. Ooh, an enchanter's potion. That ain't nice. Yep, first chapter of it goes to five to seven. Matthew's my favorite gospel by far, I think. He's just the one that I like the best. It's the one that I've read the most, probably. That's the reason. That's probably the reason that I like it the most. Man, do I have destruction to 30 yet? No, oh, it's close, but it's not 30 yet. So we need to keep trying to level it up here. Oh crap, I messed it up. What? Where did you come from? Crazy lad, crazy lad. Okay, now we go this one, then this one. Prefiction. Getting the best amulet in all of Skyrim, which I don't know if we're gonna have time for the whole quest today. It would be nice if we could get it done. You got to finish study to preach at your church in a few weeks. Really? That's very exciting. That's very exciting. Okay, so snake, whale. sort of corner you with it well do you feel do you feel do you feel led to do it tyler you're not doing it out of not don't do it out of peer pressure but if you feel led to do it oh yeah i keep forgetting oak flesh Hawk, whale, snake. So it's a hawk, a whale, and then a... No, it's the other way around. Bro! We'll just do it without it. <laughs> okay. Hawk, whale, and then snake if i'm remembering correctly good and i did die here last time so we're not going to do that again yeah i feel love to do it i got some interpretation or inspiration yesterday oh that's fantastic 
that's good tyler man as long as you're as long as you're feeling led to do it uh by the uh, as long as you feel like the lord's in it man and you, and you know you're feeling led to do it 100 percent. i'm very very happy that you're doing that it's very proud you should be proud man I don't think any of these guys are going to be hard. I don't think any of these bosses are going to be hard with like oak flesh and all of our uh, spells that we have. But I think spreading our spreading our points out so far, I think that's going to be the weak link. Shouldn't be too hard. No, it's, it's not, man. You just make yourself make yourself a good message. Be sure to get your notes, uh, Hawk Hawk Dragon, and be sure to let the Lord work in you, man. That's all you got to do. Oh, well, I also started over and did the glitch. Did the glitch your con? Wait, you what? You glitched your console? So what did you do? Did you like spam to level 100? Oh, no, no, Edmund. And no, I don't, I don't mind that stuff, man. You're fine, bro. Don't worry about it. As long as it's not inappropriate. As long as you're not talking about any like sexually explicit things and stuff like that, I don't care. You talk about whatever you want, man. Yo, what's up, em Emera? Glad. Glad to see you, man. Oh yeah, that was a question I had too, Tyler. I wanted I wanted to hear that too. Matt Miller. Uh reading the Bible front to back for the first time this year. Three months into it. No misses yet. Keep spreading spreading uh Jake and Tyler. Man, that's awesome to hear, dude. I my first time reading the Bible was last year. And it was an awesome experience, man. Getting that thing from first or from the start to the, uh, the end, uh, Genesis to Revelation was a very, very awesome experience, uh, to say the least. So, I'm glad that I'm glad that you're getting to experience that. Okay, maybe this armor sucks. Golly. Gosh, am I about to level up? Yeah, I'm about to, but I haven't yet. There's the level. Okay, we'll go ahead and level up real quick. Uh, we'll grab another Magicka. Did I get the Oak Flesh off? Yeah, I did. We need to invest in some Iron Flesh soon. Okay, we also have some Hashians. Kill him! Kill him! Let's go! Good stuff. Yeah, Matt. Um, honestly, ideally, ideally, you'll never miss a day, but you will miss a day you know and, and but that's the that's the important part is not being too tough on yourself pod popper man it's been a while pod popper man i'm glad to see you it's been a long time but i'm glad to see you back in here all righty let's grab some of this stuff see what we can get not much Oh, Harrison, it's on the four friends letting the paralyzed man through the roof to Jesus. Oh man, that's that's fantastic. Kind of, kind of the company you keep. And I could be totally off. I, not too, for sure. The notifications just refuse to work, man. That's why I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you decided to randomly, or well, I'm glad they worked finally. I guess. No, read his notes. I've already got his journal. I need to read his notes. Okay, there we go. Now find the other Galder amulets in Falgunther. Now I do have a new Galder amulet fragment, which is going to increase my health by another thirty points. So man, we are thirty. We are eighty points in the positive.
Wait, who? Who's not even a Christian? Oh, who are you talking about, Tyler? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on PC right now. Yeah, 100%. Jordan Peterson? I thought he was, uh, I thought he was Christian. I'm pretty sure Jordan Peterson's Christian, man. Uh, he says he believes in Christ. He follows Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. That's, you know, he, re he repented of his sins and he, uh, he repented of his sins and he decided to, uh, decided to make Christ Lord, man. I think that's about as, uh, that's about as authentic of a Christian as you can get. But I see that he doesn't, he doesn't hold everything. You know, he doesn't have the same, doesn't have the same beliefs, maybe as some people. You know, maybe, maybe the Lord will show him the right way as, as time goes on. That's what we can pray for anyway. Let's, let's pray that that happens for him. <clears throat> well, all right, man, we've had a fantastic stream so far. We're going to go up here and try to get this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, twice born. I've heard some I've heard some stuff about Jordan Peterson talking about the Bible and things like that talking about um I believes in Christ I think I could be wrong I could be wrong the way is dangerous and the gate will not open why are you out here am, and if the more important question is man of the college but what is it you expect to find with I want to use the power of ice and fire to destroy those who oppose me <laughs> oppose me a small test if you will those invested in restoration magic find healing hands to be essential. Can you cast it on me? I don't know no. that spell. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards. Here you are. I'm anxious to see you cast. Thumbs up for the Skyrim content. I, th I appreciate it, man. Hey, seven more locks, guys. Let's get seven more locks in here. Let's get seven more locks so that we can. Well done. In well done. In I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the about the Elder Scrolls Six. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Irvine, Trav. <laughs> I don't Follow know. Me. There's no new news. Nothing. There's hardly anything coming out, man. And man, I was looking. I, I you know, I was, I was talking to my wife about this actually earlier. She was asking about it, and you know. Yeah, it at the at the earliest, Tyler. At the earliest. Yeah, I don't know about denominations and things like that anyways. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, sir, of course. Welcome to the college. What do you think of where Revelations is actually about? Another well, I'll give you a brief Man, I think I mean uh, that's I think it's very apparent that it's about the uh, it's about the second coming crossed. I'd love to take a look around, but that's just my opinion. Who's excited for Pokemon or for Legends ZA though? I'm pretty excited for that game. 2026, right? Yeah. I knew a guy who thought Catholics weren't Christian. He was a devoted pro Protestant. Um, I'll say this: Catholics, uh, Catholics have a lot of beliefs that don't align with what Jesus taught. Um, a lot of beliefs that align actually against a lot of the things that Jesus taught. Um, like, not just stuff out of the Bible. I'm talking about historical things that Jesus taught that everybody agrees on, atheists and Christians alike. Historical things that Christian that uh, Jesus taught, Catholics don't believe. Catholics don't do that. So it's a very hard, uh, hard thing to to say that they're not Christians, but... You know, they have things, find people out of purgatory with your prayer. You could pray somebody out of purgatory. Like if I were to die, you could pray me out of purgatory or pay for me to be out of purgatory, different things. There's a whole bunch of stuff. It, when you start diving into the actual, I, I don't want to say lore, but you di start diving into their belief system. That's where it gets kind of, um, Our newest members are housed here. kind of murky, Chocobo. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside. As others may be working on research. Oh, Elder Scrolls 6 is next. Experiments. 
Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to confess sins to to somebody. There are more denomina Christian denominations than are in the Bible. Yeah, and that's I think it's wicked. I think different denominations is wicked. I mean Catholics were Catholics, uh, not sure. This is where you'll be staying. Versions. This bed and desk are yours. What's next after Skyrim? Buddy, I don't know. Now, let's go back to the Oblivion? <laughs> we'll go backwards. So Elder Scrolls 6? I don't know. It's either going to be Oblivion or Fallout. I don't know. I really don't know. Initially, you will be learning from Tolfdir. One of our most esteemed wizards. All right, guys, I'm actually going to have to cut it today. We're going to have to call it after we get this done. When we get this quest from Tolf Deer. looks like it's going to be Oblivion. It might be. It very well might be Oblivion. Oblivion would be kind of awesome. Hey, I've never played Oblivion, so who knows, man? Especially if Sky Oblivion comes out by then. If Sky Oblivion comes out when we're done with Skyrim, then we'll play Sky Oblivion, 100%. Talk here is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members... What do you think of Orthodox Christianity? Christianity before the Great Schism. I think there was a schism for a reason, my man. That's my opinion on it. Facade to people's faith, then. I don't, I don't know what you mean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we might stream a little bit tomorrow, but I'm going to have to edit this into a stream. So it is going to be kind of crazy hectic tomorrow. Might be able to stream, might not. I highly doubt we'll stream actually now that I'm thinking about it. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have had a fantastic time here. Stay tuned for the devotional. We are going to have a devotional here in a minute. Um, but... While we're still talking Skyrim, we'll talk Skyrim for a minute. We're going to go ahead and get some saves done. We'll pick up where we left off on the Galder Amulet quest next time. We'll probably be... Um, I think we have a stream scheduled for Friday. So Friday's stream is going to be peace and positivity to everyone. Exactly, Metal. Um, but Friday's stream is going to be the Stormcloak Civil War. That's going to be the Stormcloak Civil War quest line similar to like we did last time that'll be friday or saturday whichever one and whichever one that's not we'll do another let's play episode so we're gonna be doing a, a couple let's play episodes definitely a couple let's play episodes and we may even delay this episode of the let's play to next week and make one big episode i don't know you guys will know <laughs> you guys will know i'll be posting it in the discord so if you are not a part of the discord be sure to click the link in the description below be sure to go to the Discord and be sure to join that because that's where we have all of our different stuff. So we have all of our different um, in information and things like that. I am going to go ahead and do this real quick while you guys are talking. I held a little bit of <clears throat> candle smoke there. Golly. Okay. Let's sum my beliefs uh, with this. Uh, my covenant was formed with the coming of Christ. Old law is still good, but not necessary, unless it's uh, moral law, I would add to that. Uh, but not necessary. Uh, love everyone as Jesus, as Jesus did, except Christ. That's the beginning of the, and the end. Exactly. I agree with that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and save this for the last time, and we are going to go ahead and exit out of Skyrim. So we could stop that. And now it's going to get to the part where we're a little bit different. We're kind of shift focus a little bit from Skyrim to our devotional for the day. And our devotional for the day is going to come by the way of Ezekiel chapter 18. Once again, that is Ezekiel chapter 18. So if you guys want to dip out, you can dip out. Whatever you want to do, it's completely up to you. We're going to have a small devotional today. And the reason that I have this on Ezekiel 18, is something I've thought about today. And I was like, man, what am I going to do for the devotional? It's like something that I want somebody to know. Because there's, there's a certain sect of Christianity that believe, uh, I don't want to call them out, but they're called Calvinists. And they believe in a thing called, they believe in a thing called um, inherited sin, 
original sin. That means that since Adam sinned, that means that we are directly responsible for his sins and we have no choice but to sin, which we do. We are going to sin. We are all going to fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says that. It's very clear about that. But what, something that I want, to, I want to share with you guys is that it's not just doom and gloom. It's not doom and gloom that we are just the worst, horrible, horrible thing. Especially, I'll say this. I'll amend my statement. We are not in Christ. When we are in Christ, we are different. It's different. It's different for us. And I'll say that, and I'll be, I'll be very transparent with you guys. It's not that I think that I'm any better than anybody, or I think that anybody who has done something is better than somebody else. But the Bible is very clear about this, that we do not inherit our father's sin. We do not inherit the sin of somebody else. So we don't innately start out. The argument is we do not innately start out. We do not innately start out as sinners, as a baby. We, when we sin, when we first sin, that is the moment that we become sinful, right? So let's go ahead and read. Let's see what this says. Let's read the Bible. Let's read the way it's supposed to be read. read. We're going to read the first four verses of Ezekiel chapter 18. Now, the word of the Lord came to me again, saying, this is Ezekiel. He's writing, obviously. He says, the word of the Lord came to me again, saying, what do you mean? When you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, and the land of Israel at this time is similar to the way that Christians are now. It's God's people. So you think about it this way. Israel was God's people. They rejected him when Jesus came. So therefore, when Jesus, Jesus is here now, so therefore, they are no longer God's, they are God's chosen people. Let me get this straight. But they rejected the Messiah, right? So now... The people who believe in Christ, the Gentiles, Christianity, is open to everyone now. God's love is open to everyone, not just Israel now. And it was open to other people before. We can get into that on another day. But anyway, let's continue. Now, this is the proverb that he's talking about. Me, I appreciate that comment, man. I appreciate that comment, me. Okay. <laughs> so... The father have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, says the Lord, you shall no longer use this proverb in Israel. So it's already setting up a precedent in Israel, way before Christ, that this is a new teaching that God is saying, we are not going to use this anymore. This is no longer going to be the case. From this point on, from Ezekiel on, this is no longer going to be the case. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the father as well as the soul of the son is mine. And the soul who sins shall die. But if a man is just and does what is lawful and right, if he has not eaten on the mountains, nor lifted up his eyes to the idols or the house of Israel, or of the house of Israel, nor defiled his neighbor's wife, nor approached a woman during her impu impurity, if he has not oppressed anyone, but has restored to the debtor his pledge, has robbed no one by violence, but has given his bread to the hungry and covered the naked with clothing. If he has not exacted usury, nor taken any increase. So it goes on. It goes on more and more. But what he's trying to get to, first off, we need to go right here. But if a man is just, so what does that mean? When in olden times before Christ for a man to be just what would he have to do well when he sinned when he made when he had to make a sacrifice right we know that they had to make sacrifices for their sin that was how someone gets right with God so you wouldn't have this you wouldn't have this turn of heart where you repent from your sins you would much more have this thing where it's like okay I sin now I kill my calf and that is my sin there has to be blood there has to be blood for sin that is how serious sin is to God there has to be blood to forgive sin. That's where you get crossed. But <clears throat> he says, if there be a just man, and there was a way to be just back then. It was very hard. It was very tough. And then he goes on into the things that makes, quote, a just man. And then we go even further into the verse, at the very tail end of the verse, or at the very tail end of the chapter, in verse 30, this is the last little section of reading that we'll do for the day. 
Therefore, after all he says, after he says all of that, verse 19 through 32 is all sectioned, turn and live. So turn from what? Turn from your sin and live. Okay. So, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, every one according to his ways. Okay says the Lord God, repent and turn from all your transgressions so that iniquity will not be your ruin. Cast away from you all the transgressions which you have committed and get yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. What's the new heart? The new heart is Christ. Jesus changes our heart from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Okay? Get a new spirit. What's our new spirit? Our new spirit is the Holy Spirit, right? That comes into our hearts when we ask Christ to forgive us of our sins and we repent and we turn from our sins. That's what it's saying here. For why should you die, O house of Israel? Why should you die? Well, John 3.16 makes it very clear that if we do these things, we get our new heart in Christ, we get our new spirit in the Holy Spirit, that we're not going to die. We're going to have everlasting life. For I have no pleasure in the death of one who dies, says the Lord God, therefore turn and live. It's almost like God is begging them to turn and live, just like he's begging us. He's begging you and me to turn and live from our sins. Turn from our sins, run from them, rebel against the sins, and love God. Love the things of his kingdom. Love the things that God loves. Hate the things that God hates. That's what he's telling us in this passage. He's telling us that I'm not responsible for what my dad did. I'm not responsible for what my grandpa did in, in the good way and the bad way. If my dad killed somebody, I'm not responsible for that. If my dad was a pastor and he had a fantastic faith and he was a fantastic minister for the word of God, that has no hold on me. Have the same subheadings? Uh, yeah, they should. All NKJV Thomas Nelson should have the same subheadings. Yeah. But that's the whole point. That's the point, is that you are not responsible for what your father's done. You're not responsible for what your mother's done. You're not responsible for what your kids do. You're responsible for what you do. What you do for Christ, what you do for the ministry, what you do for the kingdom. That's what you're responsible for. You're responsible for turning from your sins, and you're responsible for repentance, true repentance. In the way of John the Baptist, repentance that yields Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be our devotional for the night. I hope you got something from that. I hope it was, it was good for you. I hope it was a good devotional. Hopefully we're going to have more and more of those. Um, I'm, I'm digging them. This is my favorite part of the stream, believe it or not. I love playing Skyrim. I love playing Skyrim. Skyrim is my favorite game, obviously. But this is the best part, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget to read your Bibles, guys. All of this stuff here, all of this stuff here that we do on the channel, the verse of the video, the verse of the streams, Turn and live. Yeah, I, th I think Thomas Nelson uses the same text blocks for a lot of their stuff or the same text, like fonts and things. Oh, not fonts, but like layout. But, guys, the most important thing you can do, oh gosh, is to read it for yourself. You know, I don't expect it. Thank you for sharing your faith and doing devotionals through gaming. Uh, came for the stream and stayed for the de devotional. Man, I appreciate that, Matt Miller. I really appreciate you guys. You have no idea how this has changed my life, uh, being able to do this, being able to 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 share my faith through gaming, uh, share my faith through Skyrim and this YouTube channel, man. And, and just the more and more people that I can share with, that's the whole point. I, I you know I don't want to uh, be the guy who who is quiet about his faith. Whenever Jake, whenever Jake dies, whenever I die. Whenever Senpai Jake is no longer, I stop uploading videos. I have nothing else to give. I want to be like, that guy did everything he could to tell everybody that he knew about Jesus Christ. That's what you want to, that's, that's the legacy you want to leave. You know what I'm saying? But it all starts with this, guys. It all starts with this. It's very simple. It all starts with this right here, the Holy Bible. You have to get in the Word, guys. You have to get in the Word. If you're not in the Word, at least three to four or five times a week, hopefully daily, as much as you can, guys, get in the word of Christ, word of Christ, word of God, get in it. 
I'll be praying for you, bro, and I'll keep watching all your videos over and over when you pass. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, it was wild hearing you start going into scripture at the end of a random Skyrim video, LOL. <laughs> no, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. You're good. You're good. A lot of people say that. A lot of people say, you know, I had a guy comment yesterday. He was like, he was like, man, heaven. He commented on one of my videos and he said, yeah, this is a great video, blah, blah, blah. And then he commented on my more recent ones where I started promoting Christ and promoting the reading the Bible. And he was like, great video until you started promoting, dropped that Bible tombstone on us. And then he was like, you know, God, let that fly, man. Anyway, like, till you dropped that Bible tombstone on us. And I was like, okay. And I literally commented back something. It was on the, uh, I think it was like the Dragon Priest staff video. I don't know, one of them. No, it was on the Million Gold video. And uh, I commented back to him something like, you know, man, your opinion doesn't make me hate you. It doesn't make me, it doesn't make me like you any less, man. Uh, you know, I hope that you I hope that uh, it goes good for you. That's all you can say. I respect you. You can have your own opinion, but I mean, you know, you ain't got to be hateful. Popped up out of nowhere. Yeah, man. Love your Skyrim smithing video. Hey, I appreciate that, Anonymous. I enjoy it, and I tried to read the Bible or every verse at the end. Hey, I appreciate that, Tyler. That's what they're there for, guys. That's what they're there for. Wyvern Bolt, thank you for staying this entire time, dude. Wyvern Bolt's been here since 12 o'clock today. <laughs> No lie, no lie. Got resurrection up in here. <laughs> Man, I appreciate you guys sticking around for this. 20 guys sticking around, 20 girls, guys, whatever we are. I know that there's a very minute, you know, you got some in the streams, but like, you know, 1130 actually. Golly, man. But guys, stick with the word. It'll never, it, it will never fail you. The word of Christ will never fail you. Get in the word. That is my best advice to you. Glad I stayed and have a good night. Jay, I appreciate you staying, man. I appreciate you staying. I hope you guys have a fantastic time. This is going to be the end of the stream for the day. Guys, can we please get two more locks? We're two locks away from 50. Can we please get two? Can we please get two before the end of the stream? Is there any way? Does anybody have an extra account or something? Does anybody have an extra account or something? Two more locks. That's all we need. And we can end this stream. <laughs> Two more. One more. One more lock. One more lock. Benjamin Anderson, have a great night, Jake. God bless. God bless you too, Benjamin. God bless you all. 50 locks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man, I'm not after the metrics at all. No, I appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much for sticking around. And if you guys want to go watch a video, I did just drop the Bards College stream uh, on Saturday. And I've also got an awesome uh, Skyrim Imperialism uh, where every I fight every mob against each other in Skyrim. It's pretty awesome. If you want to go watch that, I appreciate it.